A lot of the cleanup work is going to require decoupling the system. And at the moment, I just don't really have the knowledge to do that stuff. So that's for a later date. Holy shit, that's a lot of books. And I've been doing some fucking reading. Oh, f me, that's heavy. That's right, lads. I finally finished all of the reading that I promised I would do two weeks ago. And let me tell you, I have learned a thing or two. Like, uh, how absolutely dog all of my code up to this point is. All I'm gonna have to do is, uh, rewrite my entire game engine because, uh, all this is pretty f***ing unusable. That's A-OK -okay because I am an unemployed college graduate with no real job and no real future. So all I have is time. But you may be sat there asking yourself, Axel, why is all of your code dog To explain it a little better than just looking at terrible code why don't we go look at an actual diagram of the layout of my code where everything might make a little bit more sense so here we are on the diagram of my code here are all of the components of my code and while they look separated right now if i show the connections between them things get a little scary the problem is is that basically every single one of these components is connected to something that it shouldn't be connected to and as a result it makes the code very difficult to work with on top of that if i start to add other systems then it starts to get even worse so like let's add an audio system for example it's uh not great but it's still not terrible how about we add a physics system and then some debug tools and finally an animation system now you kind of see the issue with everything it just turns it into a giant plate of spaghetti but have no fear because i have a plan for a new engine and it's f***ing nice wow. that's a pretty nice f***ing plan the plan is simple i have proctors and i have components components are attached to proctors and proctors run all the logic for each of the components there are game logic components and engine components game logic components do all the stuff that has nothing to do with the engine like uh ai logic or things that you wouldn't depend on an engine to do the engine components do all the things that the engine should do animation rendering audio physics that kind of stuff super simple super straightforward now it's all about implementation hey idiot that's pretty much just unity's implementation of a game engine why don't you just use unity i've talked about this before but i'll say it one more time the first reason is that i think game engines are cool as shit, so i want to write my own the second reason is i like programming and the best way to spend more time doing that instead of art is to write my own game engine and the third reason is i f***ing love learning so the best way to do that is also to write my own game engine wow i am just now realizing how lame this list makes me sound so with all that super f***ing boring explanation done let's jump in there and get ready to do some programming <laughs> feels so good to have that new system implemented. Holy shit. One day of programming in the new design, and I already have the teddy bear rendering again. I did yoink some of the functional code from the last engine, but this new design makes it so much easier to instantiate objects and keep track of them, which is awesome so then that leaves me with just two tasks to finish before i can pretty much call the rewrite done and dusted i need to write an input system and i need to be able to render text and this time i'm not making the same mistakes that i did last time my input system is going to be well separated i'm not f***ing up the programming on the text rendering i'm watching you you little then everything will be smooth sailing. So to start working on the input system, I took a quick trip across the internet to uh, find myself a little bit of reference material. And would you look at this? Pretty sweet little article about input, if I do say so myself. So I'll just uh, 
take that and put it in my game engine and everything should be good. All that leaves is writing the rendering system for text. And unsurprisingly, when you're not an absolute f***ing monkey about writing OpenGL, shit works pretty well first try. So then on that note, my render engine rewrite is complete. Then it's time to start planning the next few steps for my game engine writing experience. Oh no, not you again. So I'm thinking that the next three weeks, I will be adding a UI system, then a map builder, and then a way to save the map. And then after that, it'll be pretty much game time for uh, going from just solid backend engine development and moving towards actually developing a game. If you wanna stick around and watch me get that stuff done, That'd be fantastic, and you should probably go over there and uh, drop it low on that subscribe button. I think uh, I think that's pretty much everything I did this past week, so uh, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.